Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Bottom School Academy. My name is Mr. Lan. I will be walking you through fourth grade English, week number five, and day number four, lesson of the curriculum. And today's lesson, of course, is going to be about composition. If you've been following this curriculum, every fourth day of the week, we talk about composition, which is an opportunity to build your writing skills. And we try to make it as easy as possible for our students by telling them to, to reference the text that they read with us on day number one of that week. So that's exactly what we're going to do today as well. So you're going to reference the day, the first day of week number five. You're going to pick the text that we read together over there. And you're going to try to rewrite that text using your own words. All right. But there's a trick to it to making sure that you're good at it. What's that trick? I'm going to remind you again of that trick with this uh, notes on the board. Watch with me. Okay, so what is the trick <laughs> to doing your composition exercise? So today is going to be about composition. There's a trick to it. You want to write an essay, you want to write a text, you want to make sure that it is original to you. Well, the first thing you are going to do, I can call this tricks, <laughs> if you will, you're going to ask yourself questions. Ask questions. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to ask yourself, well, what is this topic all about? Ask yourself questions like what, why, how, and as many questions as possible, okay? Then you are going to answer your questions. Answer questions. Okay. But this time around, in bullets. Okay, so what that means is you're going to say, well, this is the answer to the first question. Answer to the second question. Just list your answers like that. It's going to make your writing easy for you. Then, number three, you are going to convert your bullet, convert bullet points, uh, bullets to sentences. Okay, you're going to convert your bullets to sentences. Then you are going to arrange sentences into paragraphs. Okay, you're going to arrange your sentences into paragraphs. Then you are going to uh, review. All right. And when you walk through this process, you're going to find out, wow, this is actually really easy to write something. It's really easy. Start with those questions. What will make it really easy for you? If you turn to day number one of week five, we asked a couple of questions concerning that text. What, what is that text? A plea does the job. Well, that's the what of it. Ask those kind of questions underneath that text so that you can get an idea of what you're going to be writing about. And document your answers as bullet points over there. Answer to question number one, one, two, three. Then convert those bullet points into sentences. And then arrange your sentences into paragraphs and make reviews and modifications. And before you know it, you would have composed an essay all by yourself. Okay, so that's the trick to it. It's not difficult. Just walk through it like that. And lots of times, once you get really used to this process, you can do everything right from your mind, even without necessarily writing the questions down. You're going to say, oh, wow, this is the way I'm going to do it. And then you can start writing like that. You'd be a good writer. <laughs> okay. Did you get something from it? I sure hope so. Well, thank you for joining me today, boys and girls. Remember, God cares about you, and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with hero's body.